Good afternoon, everyone. Today's presentation is entitled, Can OpenAI's Sora Generate Pixar's Toy Story? I'm going to share my slides. Here we go. And put it on play. All right. Today's 30th of April, 2024. Uh, in a previous paper, I raised the question of whether OpenAI's Sora could generate the complete Pixar 81-minute long animated film, Toy Story. In this talk, and in this column, we discuss how to think about the computational requirements of such an endeavor. In that paper, I spoke about Sora's ability to generate short videos of 30 seconds or less in length videos of detailed photorealistic scenes. And the longest video recorded at that time was 17 seconds and was generated using a 38-word text prompt input to Sora. And Sora is built on top of OpenAI's foundational model, GPT-4. The text prompt used for the 17-second video is the following. Beautiful, snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. So a very short 17 second video is generated from that input prompt. At the time of writing, I suggested that I would be more impressed if we could hand Sora the text prompt that would generate the complete computer generated film, Pixar film, Toy Story, an 81 minute long film. And before we go into that, we need to analyze what we can get out of the Tokyo scene video. So this is the outline for the paper. And you'll see as we go through this, how this plays out. So how much time did Sora require to generate the 17 second Tokyo scene video? The, in, in this paper too by Levi, the researchers I spoke to won't say how long it takes to render all the, that video, but when pressed, they described it as more in the going out for a burrito ballpark than taking a few days off. In the handpicked examples I saw are to be believed the effort is worth it. So that's, that's all we got. So I'm thinking 30 to 45 minutes of computation for the 17 second video of the Tokyo scene, depending on how far away the burrito restaurant is and the length of time required for consumption. And I'm gonna use 45 minutes for the creation of the 17 second Tokyo scene video. Another thing is that it is important is to note that there is no real story in the Tokyo scene video. It's just a brief walk down a block of virtual terrain. This means that when we create the input prompt for Toy Story, we need to include prompt information for the 3D world of Toy Story plus the actual script for the story. In reference five, there is a very nice discussion on how on computational performance of NVIDIA's A100 GPU. And I'll read it to you. It goes, another source claims that a single NVIDIA A100 GPU can run a 3 billion parameter model in about six milliseconds. Considering this speed as the reference point, a single NVIDIA A100 GPU could take 350 milliseconds to print out just a single word on ChatGPT. Since the latest version, ChatGPT 3.5, has over 175 billion parameters, it will need around five A100 GPUs to perform the necessary action to get an output for a single query. The average number of at least eight A100 GPUs is derived from after taking ChatGPT's capability of outputting around 15 to 20 words per second. So it's not super fast. No, the A100 GPU is, we'll list that as 1x, came out in 2021, has been replaced by the H100 AI GPU, which is 11 times the speed of the A100, 11x. The H200 AI GPU is 18x, the A100, and now the Blackwell B100 is 44x, and it's about $30,000 to $40,000. But the A100 is still widely used for large language models, primarily because the A100 was very expensive, about $10,000 for one. And the serious users of these have purchased tens of thousands, some 20,000 or more A100s. And you can kind of see where these different processors built by NVIDIA rate. So we're gonna talk about the A100 and the B100 
with respect to creating Pixar's Toy Story. So we're going to have, assume that the Tokyo Scene video was computed on A100 NVIDIA hardware. If we had the ability to recompute it using B100 at 44x the speed, then we would see the Tokyo Scene video come out in just over one minute of time, not enough time to go out for a burrito. So now Toy Story is an 81 minute long film, 4,860 seconds. And we can do a rough computation on how many words minimum we need for the Toy Story input prompt to the GPT model. If we take 4,860 seconds and divide it by 17 seconds, that's 286 times more words required of the Tokyo Scene video. And then multiply that 286 by the 38 words of the Tokyo Scene video, we then get 10,868 words minimum for the input prompt we need to give to the GPT model. If we run this on A100 hardware, this would be 286 times 45 minutes of computation required or 12,870 minutes or 214.5 hours for this minimum input prompt for Toy Story. If you run this on B100 hardware 44 times faster, then this is 292.5 minutes or 4.875 hours, somewhat more tractable. And this mind map will show you exactly how all these computations were carried out. And you'll, and you'll go on from there. So Toy Story, the screenplay for Toy Story is actually online and can be downloaded. It's reference 11 in the paper. That screenplay has 21,455 words in it, according to Microsoft Word. So we are not too far off, but the screenplay just tells the story and probably not enough description to actually get the art style we all love in the actual film. If we use that screenplay as the basis for similar computations to those performed above, and again, utilize A100 hardware, the computation time is 25,425 minutes or 423.75 hours. And when the computer graphics field of radiosity was first starting out, radiosity had similar computation time requirements. They called it geological time in honor of how slow things move in that sphere of endeavor. And most people are not interested in geological time problems. If we use B100 hardware again, 44 times faster, then we need 578 minutes or 9.63 hours for our computation. So this is not burrito time but run this, go home and sleep and come back tomorrow time. And that is just to get one run of the video. And I'm assuming that every single tweak we want to make or test, that is what we would have to do. And remember I said something about art style needing to be specified and that is not in my computation. So it's actually takes a lot longer. All right, Disney, Pixar Toy Story, not just Pixar Toy Story, got it. Now, Let's talk about tokens and limitations. One of the things most trying to understand are the input limitations of OpenAI's GPT models. Sora is built on top of GPT. This means there is a maximum size of text prompt we can provide to the GPT model. The limitation in size of input prompts is not specified by word or character count, but rather by the number of tokens. In Reference nine, tokens are defined as groups of characters which sometimes align with words, but not always. In particular, it depends on the number of characters and includes punctuation, signs, or emojis, which basically means you only find out by trying your prompt. My first prompt was to hand ChatGPT a PDF of a screenplay and it just balked at it and did not provide any meaningful error message. ChatGPT4 has 8,192 tokens as the maximum input. It's about 5,734 words using the rule of thumb of one English word, equivalent to approximately 1.3 tokens. And the complete list of the token max for each op of OpenAI's GPT models is in reference 10. GPT-4 has a max tokens of 8,192, as I said before, and GPT-4 Turbo has a max tokens of 128,000. That ought to be enough for us to do Toy Story. For us to compute the complete Toy Story, we need that GPT-4 Turbo. Hopefully someone will give us the time on their computers because we don't have the computers. So what can we do with all this inference performance for the interactive experience realm? Well, let's assume that NVIDIA Blackwell farms become prevalent and available everywhere, and we have enough money and power to utilize them. And let's assume that we can make the running of LLM, large language models, more parallel 
and that we have all the fast memory we, we require. And let's assume that we know how to author input prompts to our large language models that can provide us the 81 minutes or more of content, either in filmed entertainment form or interactive game form. Maybe we can create films or episodes of shows where we can name the characters and have them look like family members or other actors, virtual or animated, that are also beloved. I, I know my granddaughter would love to be able to put herself into a show like Bluey and would maybe even like to specify the storyline or part of the storyline. We're not far away from the ability to make this happen. It just might be expensive in terms of inference compute power, ICP. For commercial film production, this may not be a problem as long as the films being made are blockbuster audience size and can be paid for by tickets sold. For interactive use, we need to be producing 60 to 90 to 120 frames per second of animated content. We need those worlds produced to be interactive such that we can reach out and touch 3D objects. The inference computation required is much larger than that required for film and show production. The additional thing to think about is that Large computation infrastructure is not in someone's home, but off on the internet in a server facility somewhere. And this means that the delivery of real-time interactive worlds will have networking requirements and networking problems similar to those of Google's Stadia. We're not close to utilizing gener generative AI models in interactive fashion unless those model computations are inside of the device we are playing on. Maybe if Apple ever figures out how to get into the AI business, we will see this inside of their iPhones and iPads as they have the right processor architecture for something like a small language model, an SLM. Maybe one of my next columns will be about the importance of networking for the interactive game space, and perhaps a column on how to draft a meaningful input text prompts for processing by large language models like Sora. Although, again, I've got to beg someone to send me the computation time so we can actually test out, can we do Pixar? Here's the references, and uh, these are all available online. And uh, I'll just kind of go through them quickly. And you can pause the video and check them out if you want. And I wish to thank all of my the AI generative AI researchers that are connected to me on LinkedIn and Facebook, their online presences, commentaries, and latest published papers are greatly appreciated, and I read them all. And if you want to contact me, this is my email. That's my website. And this video will be on that website, and I even have a QR code for WeChat in case you are somewhere far, far away. All right. What I'm going to do is stop the sharing and get back to the screen here. And I hope you enjoyed this presentation. This paper uh, will come out, let's see, we are just about to hit May 1st tomorrow, which means that this will come out Ju uh, July 1st, a long time from now. So I do the videos early so that you can watch it now and come back and respond to it quicker than it comes out actually in IEEE computer. I'll put both of these on my website, on mikezaida.com, in the IEEE link, if you want to get it. Right now, the draft paper is there. I'll put this video out as soon as it's completed. Anyway, have a great day. This has been the IEEE Games column, and great to see you.